Hello everyone. This video is based on Autodesk Simulation CFD Graphic User Interface. This video is part of the free course on Autodesk Simulation CFD by Learn CAX. In this video, we are going to see how the graphic user interface of the software Autodesk Simulation CFD looks like. What are the different panels? What are the different display sections? How to operate this software? and how to navigate through the software environment. So first the mouse clicks. For rotating, we have to use shift plus middle mouse click in order to rotate the uh, model that is displayed. If you want to pan or move the display that is there, we have to use middle mouse click. If you want to zoom in, you have to use the mouse roll. Zoom in and zoom out is mouse roll. Now in this particular section there is views. So if you click on the views, we can see the model in different planes. So there is front view. Top view. Right view, left view as well as bottom view. So this is the particular cube that are you, that you are seeing in the right corner, right top corner is uh, different views of the particular display that we are currently viewing. Now let us see the output bar. At the bottom, when you click on output bar button, there is a sort of a text message window that pops up. This is the output bar. This shows message window as well as the convergence plot when the simulation is running. If you want to hide, just click on again the output bar and it goes into hide mode. Now this is the design study bar that is the left model tree section. In this first we have the material section. Here we can select different materials, assign them to different parts. We have to select the part for which we have to assign the particular material type and material property. So different parts are assigned different properties in this particular example demo. We can also review the material assigned to various parts. Below the material section, we have the boundary condition section in the, in the design study bar. Using the boundary condition section, we can assign different boundary condition types, different boundary values like velocity inlet, pressure inlet, outlets. You have to select the part or the surface to which we have to assign boundary type and then select the boundary type and values. Below the boundary conditions section, we have the mesh size section. Here we can assign different mesh size to the part. We can see aut automatic sizing functions. We can see the pre mesh preview also. We can see how many nodes are assigned to different parts as well as mesh preview can be seen. This is the mesh preview using automatic mesh size. Below the mesh size, there is solve section. Here we can select different physics models, different solver algorithms in order to run the CFD simulation. And finally, below the solve in the uh, design study bar, we have the results section where we can visualize the CFD results by uh, creating different planes, different path lines, contours, vectors, all those visualization properties or functionalities come in the results section. Now we will see the file menu section in the left top corner. First, we have open new file or simulation, then open an existing simulation or file. After that, we have the save file option. Then the save as option where we can save a new file. Then there are various export options like exporting mesh, exporting results. We can export tech plot results, field view results from simulation CFD. After that we have the Autodesk Vault server login option. And finally we have the print option. Finally, we have the print option and at the bottom of this file menu, we also have exit software which, close, which closes the software session. 
Now we will see the top toolbar which is known as ribbon section. This has different tabs for operating the software. The first among them is the setup tab. Within the setup tab, the first section we have is material section which is used to assign materials to various parts. Then we have the boundary condition section which is used to assign boundary conditions uh, to the simulation. After that we have the initial condition section which provides initial conditions in case of transient simulation. Then we have the mesh sizing section which is used for meshing the geometry. And finally, we have the solve section which is used to set up different uh, inputs for a simulation uh, like iterations and uh, models and in order to run the simulation. We also have the solution monitor section which, which helps us to monitor the simulation run or simulation progress. Then we have the volume selection, the surface selection and the edge selection options. The second tab in the ribbon section is the results tab. Within the results tab, first we have summary image, which captures image of multiple scenarios in order to compare. Then we have dynamic image, which captures images that can be navigated and animated. After that, we have static image, which captures static images. And at the bottom, we have the animation, which is used to create animations. We have the global results or global control which is used to display any result throughout the model. Then we have the planes button which is used to uh, visualize results on cut planes. Isosurfaces option which is used to display uh, results based on surface of a constant variable value. We have the wall calculator which calculates flow induced forces on solids and wall surfaces. We have the parts button which is used to display results on different parts. And the points section in order to plot results at specific location or point as a function of iteration or as a function of time. Then we have the design center button which is used to compare scenarios of different results. We also have global results. In this we have all types of results that can be extracted from simulation CFD. Using this global results, we can see different properties like velocity, temperatures, their various uh, contours, scalar results, different components of velocities. Then there is vectors or global vectors uh, section where we can see vectors of different variables. The vector settings button can be used in order to set up different display settings related to vector displays. Then the next tab in the ribbon is the views tab. In that first we have save view option which is used to save current view. Then we have the apply view option which is used to apply the saved view. Then we have the visual style option which is used to uh, apply different styles to the display like shaded, outline, transparent, wireframe. Then there is the access display toggle by using which we can turn on or turn off the access display. Model shadow option is below that which is used to see shadow of a model that is in on display as shown here. Then there is an option to change between orthographic and perspective views. 
below that there is an option to change the background and below that there is a button which is Z clip this button actually is used to see interior details that is clipping the particular model along the Z then there is a legends section or option using which we can hide or we can show the legends and see how many maximum legends can be made visible below that there is surface blanking option which enables hiding surfaces with mouse click while viewing the results then there is a mirror option clean screen option is there after this which is used to toggle the visibility of user interface to maximize the graphics window then there is button to adjust the view to different viewports link views option comes after that when we enable the link view option all viewports can be viewed simultaneously then after that we have the full navigation wheel when we enable this it provides access to general navigation tools with a navigation wheel then we have the pan button or the pan option after clicking uh, this pan option we can pan the model display we have the zoom option after that and uh, after that we have the orbit button which can rotate the display model then we have the look at feature uh, this look at feature positions a selected face parallel to the screen and a selected edge horizontal to the screen and centers the selection. After that we have the previous option which uh, returns the graphic display to previous view position and zoom value. Home which returns the model to the default view. The next tab in the ribbon is the vault tab. In this we have the Autodesk Vault which opens the Autodesk Vault application for data management and uh, this is an application that Autodesk provides for managing the simulation data but it can be seen only if it is installed. First we have to log in into the Vault application so there is a login button, there is a logout button, there is a set workspace button. This sets the local directory to save files. Then we have a go to workplace button which helps to browse to local workspace. After that we have the new design study button which will create a new design study with geometry from the vault. We have the check in file share button after that which is used to check file sharing and open a share file which is used to open the shared file from vault. The next tab in the ribbon is the Autodesk 360 tab. Uh, Autodesk 360 is a cloud based service from uh, Autodesk and with the help of this service we can save simulation files on cloud and access them from anywhere. In that the first is the save share file this will, sa uh, this will save a shared file in Autodesk 360. Then we have a save static image which will save a static image of the simulation result uh, to Autodesk 360 that is cloud. We have the save dynamic image which will uh, save a dynamic image on Autodesk 360. Then we have open folder. This will open Autodesk 360 in the Windows Explorer. And the launch web button which will uh, open Autodesk 360 website in the browser. Simulation Sync settings comes after that which is used to configure automatic simulation synchronization with Autodesk 360. The next tab is the Start and Learn tab. This tab contains various functionalities like open new design study, open existing design study, explore new functionalities in this particular release, access collection of resources from new user, uh, for new user, expand uh, our understanding of Autodesk uh, simulation uh, CFD, step by step tutorials, demonstrations and help resources. The last tab is the community tab which will have different uh, features 
लाइक डिस्कशन फोरम डिस्कशन ग्रुप आइडिया स्टेशन ऑटोडस यूनिवर्सिटी सेशन इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इंडस्ट्री एक्टिविटीज दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द ग्राफिक यूजर इंटरफेस ऑफ ऑटोडस सिमुलेशन सी एफ डी सॉफ्टवेयर सो वी फेमलराइज आवर सेल्फ विद द डिफरेंट सेक्शंस एंड डिफरेंट पैनल्स डिफरेंट रिबन्स एंड टैब्स एंड बटन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर एज ए ग्राफिक यूजर इंटरफेस इन द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन वी विल सी डिटेल्स ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ कैरिंग आउट सी एफ डी यूजिंग ऑटोडस सिमुलेशन सी एफ डी थैंक यू फॉर व्यूइंग दिस वीडियो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस फ्री कोर्स ऑन ऑटोडस सिमुलेशन सी एफ डी बाई लर्न सी एक्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन आर ट्रेनिंग प्रोडक्ट्स फील फ्री टू मेल अस एट इन्फो एट लर्न सी एक्स डॉट कॉम थैंक यू